got to be tourists in New York for a day. We did all the things that, you know, you want to do when you come to New York. Later we went to Times Square and just hit you like all these kilowatts of lights just right in your face. You're just in awe of the ads. <laughs> We were past the America's Sex Top Model poster and we were trying to pick out who we were. We had people coming up to us going, oh, where are you? We were like, oh, that's not us. <laughs> we were walking down the street and a police officer stopped us. We were really scared. Well, I, I was terrified because I didn't know what we'd done wrong. Hey, man, ladies. I was called from Central and they told me to deliver a special message. Oh! There it is. <laughs> Spreading the news, I'm leaving today, Frank Sinatra. It's time to pack your bags, head home and face the music. One minute we were having a great time and the next minute Jada Mel kind of rained on our parade because, you know, the thought of elimination comes back in your mind and it's not a great feeling. I'm going back home, all right? Hopefully the music is good on your side. My initial reaction was, I don't want to leave New York. It's been so much fun. We've had such a great time. I don't. It's such a great city. You don't want to go, but... One of us has to leave the competition, so not looking forward to it. I have more a chance of making it through than not making it through based on how many girls there are. And I feel confident that the way I've performed in New York will pull me through. If I was to leave this week, that's not going to get me down. It doesn't mean that I can't go out there on my own and make a whole modelling career for myself. Welcome home, girls. Ten weeks ago, 13 girls stood before us, hungry for a stab at the top model crown. That crown is now very much within your grasp. But only two of you can succeed today, and only one of you will win. Let's take a closer look at the prizes up for grabs. The winner of Australia's Next Top Model will be represented for 12 months by Priscilla's, Australia's premier modelling agency, with an all-expenses-paid trip to New York to meet with top international agencies. They'll become the face of Australia's leading cosmetics brand, Napoleon Purtis, for 12 months, which includes an international photo shoot. They'll win a sexy Ford Fiesta Z-Tech, and feature in an exclusive eight-page editorial for Vogue Australia. And now let me introduce you to our regular judges. First up, a woman who always tells it like it is, Charlotte Dawson. The very expensive Alex Perry. And now to our guest judges. Publisher of the Fashion Bible, Vogue Australia, Grant Pearce and a man who's travelled alongside you every step of your model journey, your model mentor, Jonathan Pease. The experts in New York were as divided as us when it comes to who should win. So we need you guys to help us. Alex, we'd like you to tell us why you think you should be Australia's next top model. As the winner, I... I'm an independent and I'm a mature person and I will own it completely and I, I know exactly where I will go. I know how to set myself goals that are realistic. If I was to win this competition, I would do my best to get to the top. I will, I'm so prepared to go overseas, to live the life of a model, to become the best I can because I really believe I can do this. I've done this all on my own and I've really pushed myself harder than I've pushed myself for anything else. Um, Sorry. <laughs> the past couple of weeks since Fiji, I'm, I've impressed myself, and I think for that reason. 
I should win. I think I've grown with, yeah, my confidence and I've just learned to, you know, express that I am beautiful. I've found out that I am a beautiful person. I think I've really shown that I want to be here and that I want to win. And at this stage in this competition, I feel like I've already won. And that's why I should win. You're definitely the oldest 16 year old I've ever met, by far. <laughs> Let's take a look at your photo. What do you think? Um, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, for me, you could be doing more with your face there. Looks a bit, looks a bit dead for me. Yeah. You don't own the picture, and I think you have to own the picture. And that, for me, is my criticism for that particular image. I think it's gorgeous. I love the dress. I love the funny shoes. I really like it. I think this is really a good shoot for you. Like, this is, you, you suit this in every way. You suit the streets of New York. You suit what you're wearing and you get it. Mm. You know, and this really shows in this picture. I mean, there's a real moment that's been captured. And I think that's down to you and the expression in your face. You're actually telling us a story. Mm -hmm. Alex, that is what you call a true fashion picture. And I think that's something that in your career that you need to be aware of that you can do fashion yeah. because a lot of girls can't do fashion it's a believable picture i mean not believable that you catch a cab in that hat yes. but believable in in the sense that you you are that girl the kind of girl who would wear that what do you think <laughs> i hated the fact that i had to laugh in a photo <laughs> so i already knew i probably wouldn't like that but my legs look nice and long so, I mean, if that shot was on a billboard, it would cause a lot of accidents. But unlike Alex's picture, this is more of a commercial sort of look. It's not as fashion. And I hate that saying, you're all winners, really. But in, the, in a sense, you are, because everybody gets to model from here on in.